Hello, this is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Fluid Art Studio with a rubber silicone brush, a 10 by 20 inch canvas that Michael's primed, I didn't, some leftover paint that I've just noticed isn't stirred up, but it's in the color that I want to start with. And as long as that's not paint on there, I can use those tweezers to stir that up. It's a pale yellow. And I might as well use it, because it's not going to get used up any other way. I'm not sure what I'm going to do exactly yet, but I am going to spread some paint on canvas and hope that there isn't any more of those little pieces of paint chip I'm seeing in there. To idle me. Where are my tweezers? Right there. Where I just put them down. I got it. So it does not matter to me right now what color is wetting my background as long as it's light enough. And I wish I could get some more paint out of that. Kind of, sort of. But the truth is, if I want to spread it around, I can. And I kind of want to. And I like the chunky geometric marks. I'm planning on adding some orange. I kind of want to play with my cell activator to tell you the truth, which was not part of the plan, but it's definitely just become part of the plan. It's a because I can plan. I don't even know if I'm going to like this or not. But I am going to play and spread paint as I go. Let's grab some orange crush and hope that it's... Take that paint chip off my finger. This orange crush. This is. I'm glad I shook it. <laughs> Pink carnation. Not at all sure what's going to happen. So that makes it interesting, I guess. I was planning on having a little more yellow in my center. And it's really not too late. I've got some Paroli Orange and Hansa Yellow mixed. It's a Vivid Intense. Since I'm pretty certain that all of these colors are amicable to each other, it really doesn't matter what I do because it's a learning process for me right now. And I might just go up and down until I want to go across and then I'll go across. That might be really different. I've got Dancing Fuchsia and I've got Dancing Fuchsia and Cell Activator. Little shake. Oop, sorry about my head. I'm always sorry about my head. I want more yellow already. I've got mellow yellow 
and Hollyberry Purely Pigments. Both have got a yellow orange and a handsome light yellow. I think the handsome light yellow is coming into play. For me, I don't mind if there's colors, there's the residuals. I do mind paint chips. If I keep moving, I'll be okay, because the paint won't dry. I've got some Hollyberry and it's tempting to bring it in. Let's just keep going in the direction we're going first though. I have Water Lily out, which is a prison pour, but I haven't decided to use it yet. I want more Dancing Fuchsia. I could just use this as a background. The Dancing Fuchsia and all my cell activators are basically in Australian flow troll. Let's try what I was talking about now. Go across. It might not work at all. Or it might be a good way to blend colors. I'm used to scraping my spatula off, so it just comes as second nature to want to scrape off the silicone brush. A little more red, red orange atelier. I'm totally enamored of this. Dancing Fuchsia. If it turned out to just dominate everything, it would be fine by me. I'm kind of dying to put some gold cell activator in here, and I'm not sure why, because it wasn't supposed to be part of this process. Now that I've talked about the gold, I want the purple. <laughs> doesn't make any sense. That doesn't have to make any sense. That's ancient. That's like years old dioxazine purple from Master's Touch. So it makes no never mind to me to use it up in interesting ways. Although these are looking less interesting to me than I thought they would. I kind of want to put some white in. Why that is, I do not know. Um, I'll try it anyway. I'm thinking and feeling turquoise is coming my way. But I think first I'm going to use some of this water lily. And I'm just going to keep playing and try not to worry about what's happening. Because 
I'm not totally in love with it yet, but that could change. I definitely love what the, the ancient dioxazine purple is doing. And I have scraping tools. What I really want is to use some of the Thalo turquoise from Atelier. And that makes me want to pull out some of the dancing fuchsia. Which is a purely pigment. I think I had to wipe that off, probably. <laughs> A statement maker that they were the other turquoise. I'm just going to use it everywhere until I get to the point where I decide it's either turning into something now or it's going to be a background later. I'm not seeing anything I'm in love with yet. No, don't do it. So what's next? Not sure about that yellow. The mellow yellow with holly berry is calling to me. And so are lots of other colors, so that's not that unusual. I almost made mud. I don't want to make mud. I do like the rainbow effect. When I started using the silicone brushes, I also started to use a, uh, a kitchen sponge. That's more Dancing Fuchsia Cell Activator next to the Mellow Yellow. I'm getting closer to something I don't dislike. I've got Saffron. Not what I thought it was going to be by any stretch. I think a much larger canvas might be in order for that. I haven't put any jasmine in here, and I have some. I definitely don't have to put cell activator on everything, although I'm kind of having a good time doing it. Yeah, maybe it's time for some texture. Which for other people might be balloon time. Since I got my silicone rubber brushes, and I'll try and remember to put the link underneath the video. Kind of want some black. Try and resist the black until the end. Jasmine. I think if I do the black, I'm going to dip it. Crush. Try to make thin lines.
I dare with the black? Do I want more purple? I kind of want more purple. I might want a smaller brush. Or tool, whatever you want to call it. And the, the set comes with five. Wow, there's a lot more on there than I anticipated. Matter of fact, I'm going to wipe that off right now. Before it has paint dried on it and I can't do anything with it. There, I've just added my first little bit of paint to my brand new paint pants. Just been christened. Thalo turquoise makes me happy. Not sure about that one. Yeah, it's definitely time to remove some paint because I can and I like to Rather than interrupt myself, I'm going to keep going for another minute and then I'll stop and reset the camera. The camera shuts off at 20 minutes in case you ever wonder why the, the timer is set. That is the reason. Alright, I'm going to wipe this off. I'm going to try to put a little bit of black To my dish. If it's willing to squeeze down or not. Wish me luck. Unfortunate. Okay, so I've got several tools out now just for fun. And I have this little tiny ice scraper from Maine. That I used in another painting recently and I really liked how it looked. So I'm happy to use it again. my residuals. I actually really love this little tool. So maybe this is the tool for this piece. All the way through. So I have others. I should try them. I made almost a complete circle there. That was cool. I messed up my black paint in my pan, but that doesn't mean I can't still try and use it.
Whoa, that's my head. And I've got graduated. They sell these tools on uh, at Michael's on the on the uh, internet because it's still good texture. Don't mind if it's not totally uniform anyway. I'm almost done, I think. <coughs> Unless I want to come back tomorrow and do more. I'm loving those little circles, though. The key is to keep the, the central part in place. Okay, so let's see I've got a spot I want to get rid of. I made a little tool the other day, a chopstick that had a square on the end, but I don't know where it is. I do have this thing I picked up in a parking lot near somebody's car. I don't think it's going to work the way I want it to, but I'm going to try it once. Okay, I'm, it's working better than I anticipated. And it's not bothering me a bit. Not a bit. I think because there's a, a hollowed part in the middle. I think it's some kind of vape thing and I've never vaped or been a vapor. So I really don't know. I do know that I want to use one of my little silicone tools Now they're cheap. Some of them, some of them kept the handles, and others did not. But I really like using them. And I'm so hoping I'm not completely blocking your view. Okay, I'm not sure about that mark. But, fortunately, rubber brush is handy. I can do a quick fix it, maybe. I kind of want Another one of these marks. I got some cleanup to do, I'll tell you what. Using all these extra tools. That's neat. I want to do that again. Very cool. All right, I think I've gotten to the place where I, I'm afraid I'll, I'll ruin it if I continue. So I'm just going to stop. I'll black my edges when I'm ready. And um, I like everything about what I've got right now, so I'm going to shimmer it at you. I'm not sure there's a lot of shimmer, but if there's any, we'll show it to you. Thank you for joining me. Please give me a thumbs up. Thank you for sharing my videos. Thank you for watching longer. It speaks to the YouTube algorithm. My email address is EASPB and the word gallery spelled out at gmail.com if you'd like to inquire about taking a class with me at the house in Spring Hill, Florida, one-on-one, -on -one, or purchasing an artwork. Link to you'll find promo codes for color art products and pixel paint designs, Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter links, a couple of my websites, my Amazon link, volumes one and volumes two of my books are on the Amazon link, because I can, and Unlimited Possibilities, the first and the second hundred videos I made for YouTube. Que questions are welcome and encouraged. My community board will show you tomorrow's video at around 2 p.m., hopefully. Now there's something else. Thank you. Thank you to all my patrons. Thank you to the members. Thank you to um, 
those of you who use PayPal to make a donation to keep me painting. Uh, thank you so much. I appreciate you guys endlessly, and you inspire me always. My paint pouring recipes below show more, and I have 34 playlists of 100 videos each, and everything's organized by topic and genre. <laughs> if you need anything, don't forget. Ask questions. It's fine. Thank you for being here. Bye for now. Priscilla out.